Martian, to concede so early at the City of Manchester Stadium really made it a mountain just too high to climb last Saturday. Yeah, and even, you know, think about the fact that we conceded in the second minute. Uh, we conceded the second one in the 17th minute, so in between we could have heard them and we didn't. But uh, it was the first time this season that there was an opposition who had more possession than them. But if there is no purpose in that possession, it doesn't mean anything, you know. For me it's important that we get it to, the, to our players up front. And, uh, but if you see uh, the open play crosses, 22 open play crosses, was the first time this season that opposition did it against Man City and we did that. But it was poor, it was not. Uh, the movement, we had three or four players in the box, we had five players in the box, so we showed our players, you know, it's about uh, movement, it's about the final ball, it's about delivery. So hopefully we will get the same against Man United because they are probably as good as Man City. Although City is a very good defensive team. I know, for example, Vincent Company very well because he played for us in uh, in Hamburg, and he had seven or eight headers, you know, and it was too easy, you know. You have to if you got the players like Berbatov, Bayer, who is Damien Duff, you have to either link up in the box or come up with a, a but good answer. But how can you change that with only two shots? You can work on it. You can make the. You can talk about it. You can show them. You can do it in the training session. But it's not easy. For example, if you got. Uh, Kakani Klic, he's a good talent, but he's left-footed, so he will hit the byline and get his crosses in. But if these crosses, for example, are blocked all the time, you get a lot of corners, but you will see that in, uh, in the future uh, he will be good. But I always believe in having one flank player like Damien Duff, because Damien can go in with his left and get a cross in, because otherwise you have to hit the byline all the time. And nowadays in modern football, how many players will hit the byline with good fullbacks to play against? So uh, we have to come up with the balance, and the balance is not always always great. But how concerned are you that the goals that have been scored recently in recent games have been one-off pieces of quality as opposed to from open play? I'm very uh, concerned about that, and uh, you have to work on that. But uh, uh, I, I gave you the example of Kakani Klitsch. Yeah. When did he score his goals? Against West Bromwich, when he was on the inside, mm. and he scored against uh, Arsenal when he was edge of the box on the inside. So, of course, he's, he's got it in his locker. And uh, when, if you look at our game, you know, we, we the possession game is good. We play good football, but, uh, you know, the final ball, and uh, sometimes there's no head to our game. And uh, I mean, you know, to come up uh, and, and with putting in the, the ball in the net, that, that's why I was so uh, happy with Giorgio. Georgia was the only one with two good shots and he scored two goals against Blackpool, he scored yeah. a great goal, Wigan, but it's not enough. So uh, the purpose always should be, you know, to get the ball into the net and the balance is not uh, not always great. And that is probably what we lacked in our link-up play, in our link-up play uh, uh, to the forward players. And uh, you, you almost sometimes get a split uh, identity, you know, but of dropping off and trying to get more of the ball. And I want them in their box. I want players in their box. But of course, they will say we need good delivery mm -hmm. as well. And that is not always great. But if you look at, for example, January, uh, five games, we didn't lose four. We lost against Man City. Uh, we had two away wins against West Brom and Blackpool. We had two draws at home, that was the disappointing thing. But these games were very winnable for us. We should have won these games. Even Swansea, which is a good team, I think we were the better yeah, team. Yeah. But we lost 2-1. They had two or three opportunities, scored two goals. We had so many balls into their box. And in, in the final third, it's maybe better to, to put it that way. And we couldn't score. So we will score more goals than last year. And we will score more goals than the year before. But if you play an offensive style and you don't score, you get the goals, you concede the goals, yes. and that is the problem. Because if you leave spaces at the back with the players we've got, you're vulnerable. And we looked a bit vulnerable at times, so then we go back to the basic and we try not to concede. But yeah, you have to score goals as well to win games, because otherwise you get all these draws. And we had a lot of draws this year. So uh, I feel that uh, if you see the big puzzle, we had a fantastic team last year after Christmas and the puzzle was ready maybe one or two additions that is what I thought and then we had to change it again and now we lack one or two little pieces in this big puzzle and I feel that we are not far off but we are not the finished article that is for sure but for me it's important that we realize that 
and that we fight, you know, and, and that is a togetherness. But I still see that we've got too much quality to lose a lot of games. So I still feel that we need four or five wins. And uh, we certainly will do that. You talked about a resilience and a team spirit against Blackpool. That was in abundance because that's why we're now in the next round of the FA Cup with a game at Old Trafford yeah. against Manchester United. It was there. How much of a miss have having a settled midfield been to the development that you talked about since since the summer when we were scoring goals, when the attacking play did seem to have a better end result? What what's the difference? The difference is that the balance was good, the link-up play from the back and the build-up play was good. Uh, we were not, uh, I always say, you know, like my grandmother, she was knitting and we are doing the same, you know, we're knitting in midfield and play the ball. You come up with resilience against Blackpool. No, we needed the quality of one player, Ken Richardson came up, but yeah. put the ball in the net. And uh, we had to wait until 10 seconds before the end. So there was, of course, resilience, but it's not only about character and resilience, it's about the quality as well. And even against Blackpool, we had 70 or 65 percent possession. But that is not the purpose. The purpose is to use your possession to create goals. And and we lacked a bit. And sometimes, you know, George always do well in midfield. But I need players who can play it up to the forward as well. So if you intercept or break up attacks from the opponent, you know, you have to play it up to your best player. And sometimes we don't have that. Third week in January though, and there's been no movement in the transfer market, uh, are you getting frustrated? Is it because it's difficult at this time of year to sign good players? I don't want to show my frustration because that would be ridiculous, you know, because we still got good players here. But of course, you see that we had to uh, change the team and uh, uh, different players are playing now, they do 100%, but of course you need one or two players to be better and to get the balance back. But we, we, we make bids, you know, for players, for, for good players mm. and, and, and big bids. But if they decide to go to Russia or to, to go to a bigger club, yeah, what can we do about it? So I still don't want to show my frustration. But the intention is there to bring intention in. intention is there, of course. And, and maybe uh, our fans would say, you know, that we don't uh, try to move things or try to do something in the market. No, we, we are busy every day, every day, 24 hours a day, but it's not, it's not easy. And we still try to come up with uh, one or two solutions. Would you like to go to Old Trafford to get the result to be in the next round of the Cup or would you like three points against West Ham United? In an ideal world, you'd have both. In an ideal world, I would rest a few players again. and I, Because West Ham is, is, is a crucial game for us, for Fulham Football Club. But it's, we are not in a situation that we can leave five or six players out. It's, so it will be a strong honest, team. It will be a strong team. And again, we had five different players against Blackpool, for example, and it was still a good team. But of course, uh, I can tell you now that we will play with our arguably best team because I want to go to the next round and second. I don't think we are in a situation that we can rest players like, for example, May United. Mm -hmm. I can't leave Brad Hammerland out or Sasha Rita because we can play there, you know. So we are still, that is what I mean with building a new squad. Uh, we still are building, but it leaves us with a, a few players playing all the time and that will happen, you know. I, I rested uh, Brian Roos and Berbatov last week. We beat Blackpool and then we, we, we had to play him against Man City, but Man City, you know, they are no mugs, you know, they are champions in England. So. We couldn't beat them. I think in, in the end we did okay, but we conceded a, not even an early goal. It was the second minute, could have been a disaster. But in the end it was still 2-0. But we lost that game and I still feel that we want to be a team, you know, who could beat Man United away from home, Man City away from home, go to the next round. And that is a little bit of the frustration. I can can almost smell the frustration with defence, but they should be, if they back us, if they back us, they will see, you know, that we work, you know, uh, 24 hours a day to, to create a fantastic team and to stay in the league. That is the most important thing. And hopefully, hopefully go to the next round in the FA Cup. We wish you luck on Saturday. Okay, thank you.